the real you is already healed. The real you has your youth renewed. The real you is very, very rich. Welcome to the real you. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraught. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Welcome to the real you. So let's see who the real you is. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 23 and the very God of peace sanctify you holy I mean holy the whole of you mm -hmm. and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. here he calls your whole being would be a spirit a soul and a body Say, I am, a I am a spirit, I have a soul, have a soul. And, I and I live in a body. You are a spirit, though. That's the part of you that lives forever. So who's the real you? The spirit man. That's the part of you that gets born again. That's the part of you that knows God. God is a spirit, and they that worship him. Well, if you're going to know God, you're going to have to know him with your spirit man. God is not a mind. He is a spirit and if you're gonna know God the spirit you're gonna know him with your spirit man the real you I like to say it this way makes it very clear with my physical body I touch things in the physical world right you can touch something in the physical world with your mental person you can think about things you can imagine things can you imagine that and it, it includes your your thoughts and your will and your emotion and thinking so I touched things in the mental realm with my mind mm -hmm. I can reason I can think things out mm -hmm. that leaves one part of you left your spirit man which is the real you and you touch things in the spirit world mm -hmm. with your spirit so that you know things that are in the spirit with your spirit man not with your mind your spirit man is the real you it's the part of you that lives forever it's the part of you that's in contact with God the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. because he is the Holy Ghost he's the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and so this is the part of you that revelation comes to is your spirit man mm -hmm. not your mind and not your body your, your mind may be affected by it you may get emotional you understand mm -hmm. or your body might get tingly but it came to your spirit man say it came to my spirit man we're talking about the real you Proverbs chapter 20 verse 27 says the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord now we don't use candles a lot in our day and age but you could say the light bulb of the Lord right mm -hmm. so the spirit of man is the light bulb of the Lord searching all the inward parts of the belly so if you have illumination where's it gonna come from your spirit man yes. that's the part that God illuminates is your spirit man mm -hmm. the real you Psalms chapter 42 verse 7 deep calls to deep at the noise of thy water spouts deep calls to deep spirit speaks to spirit so when God speaks to you it's going to be to your spirit yes. and the sooner you can know this and learn this the farther you can go with the Holy Ghost who is a spirit mm -hmm. he's a spirit being you're a spirit being say he's a, he's a spirit being I'm a spirit being deep speaks to deep spirit speaks to spirit mm -hmm. your spirit man knows things that your mind doesn't know can you give me this mm -hmm. your spirit man who is the real you knows things say knows things. knows things he knows things that your mind your mental man and your physical man don't know yet mm -hmm. 
does this make sense yes. why because he's connected with the God who knows all things and he's in a different realm he sees things differently mm -hmm. that's you yes. your spirit man knows you are healed your spirit man knows you are healed Amen. he knows it mm -hmm. your spirit man knows you're a wealthy person Amen. say a wealthy person. a wealthy person who knows this your spirit man why because he's functioning on a different kind of knowledge he's functioning on this kind of knowledge he knows the word mm -hmm. he knows the word that says by jesus stripes you were healed words past tense therefore you are healed the blessing of the Lord makes you rich adds no sorrow with it he knows you're blessed therefore he knows you're made rich and have no sorrow added to you that's who you are so he knows things that your mind doesn't know let me put it that way he knows the word is true he knows the reality of the word being true who knows this the real you knows this mm -hmm. because the real you knows things that your mind doesn't know we we wrestle with it we have to renew say renew, renew. we renew our mind so that our mind can think the right way mm -hmm. Does this make sense what are we renewing it to we're renewing it to the word and what the what your spirit man already knows mm -hmm. so your spirit man knows things that your mind doesn't yet know or understand or comprehend the real you is already healed the real you has your youth renewed the real you is very very rich that's the real you Amen. welcome to the real you first corinthians chapter 14 verse 14 for if i pray in an unknown tongue my spirit prayeth but my understanding is unfruitful i think just about everybody who knows when you know that has received the holy ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues when you speak in other tongues your mind doesn't know what's going on i mean it knows you're praying it might get some ideas come to it as you pray in tongues enough you start to realize oh i'm praying about this but not always here it says if i pray in an unknown tongue my spirit prayeth that means that's the real you is praying but your understanding which is your mind is unfruitful mm -hmm. do you see the two parts there mm -hmm. i remember being at kennedy e. hagen school years and years ago then i go to classes and then i come home and then i walk the floor and pray in tongues and pray in tongues and pray in tongues and confess the word and mostly pray in tongues mm -hmm. for hours mm -hmm. i do it every day hours a day actually I'd, I'd go to the classes in the morning then we go to prayer school where we prayed in tongues for a couple hours then i would go home and i would walk the floor and pray in tongues and during that period of time as i did hour upon hour praying in tongues the real the realization came upon me that that was the real me the one who was speaking those other tongues was the real me and this physical person and this mental person was just a thing that I moved around in mm -hmm. but the real me say the real me, real me was the one speaking in other tongues can you see this so far I'm trying to bring you up to a place here I had the same realization when I take a verse of scripture and I begin to confess it I take a word of God let's say by Jesus stripes I was healed and I would confess by Jesus stripes I was healed sickness cannot stay in my body and I'd walk the floor and I would confess by Jesus stripes I was healed sickness cannot stay in my body and I would confess by Jesus stripes I was healed sickness cannot stay in my body the same realization that I had when I prayed in other tongues for an extended period of time came upon me as I spoke the scriptures for an extended period of time mm -hmm. that that was the real me and the sickness doesn't, didn't mean that it didn't exist but it had no power over me mm -hmm. 
or as I walked the floor and I said the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it as I was doing that over a period of time say over a period of time, a period of time. I began to realize that's the real me not my situation not my bank account the real me is made rich no sorrow added the real me is he how did I get there by speaking what's in agreement with the Holy Ghost both ways in tongues and scriptures who's the real me that's the real me then the sickness leaves then the lack goes away say then the sickness leaves then the, sickness then the lack goes away because that's the real you you're already rich you're already healed you're already youth renewed are you getting this you're the real you starts to poke its head out and say here I am well the same realization happened to me as I walked the floor and began using the words I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I realized that was the real me and I'll speak on this more a little bit later the fact is you are healed you just didn't know it mm -hmm. say I am, healed. I am healed I just didn't know it just you are healed you just don't know it and when you come to the realization that that's who you are that's when it takes place first Peter 224 now does your inner man your spirit man the real you know that you are healed mm -hmm. yes he knows by whose stripes you were healed past tense mm -hmm. right does your spirit man know proverbs 10 22 that you are blessed you think your spirit man knows this mm -hmm. asking a question does your spirit man know this that you are blessed yes the blessing of the Lord makes you rich adds no sorrow with it that's the real you these things are spiritually discerned first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 12 we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God or the spirit who is God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God mm -hmm. how are we going to know these things that are freely given to us by him is by him yes. which things also say also. also also we speak also means he's already spoken them now we have to speak them this is how we get to know them mm -hmm. verse 14 but the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God for their foolishness unto him and neither can he know them because they're spiritually discerned you pick up on it with your spirit man you have to discern it with your inner man say I discern it, I discern it. With, with the real me, the real me. you are healed you just don't know it yet you are rich you just don't know it yet you are a Holy Ghost worshiper you just don't know it yet mm -hmm. the natural man receives not or knows not he knows not mm -hmm. so people that are walking around not knowing they're healed mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. they're trying to know it in the natural when you have to know it in the spirit man the real you first we know that the inner man knows things we just said he, this we receive these things by the Spirit of God that we may know them right mm -hmm. so he knows things that the natural man doesn't know mm -hmm. he knows things that the intellectual man doesn't know do you suppose he the inner man the real you knows that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today mm -hmm. yes. you know what would hinder that is people's mental man or their traditions the word says mm -hmm. the traditions of man make the word of God of no effect mm -hmm. but your inner man the real you knows that the Holy Ghost is God he knows something that you your other parts don't know does he know that the Holy Ghost is God yes. that the Holy Ghost is in the earth today first mm -hmm. Corinthians chapter 6 19 what know you not 
that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost who is in you which you have of God and you are not your own for you're bought with a price therefore glorify God mm -hmm. in your body and in your spirit which are God's would your inner man possibly know this verse of scripture is real is true is reality yes. what know you not mm -hmm. that you're the temple of the Holy Ghost the real you worships the Holy Ghost the real you knows what I'm saying is true the real you knows that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today mm -hmm. and that you're a temple of God are you still here yes. would he know that mm -hmm. of course he does how would he not know it the only reason he'd not know it is if somehow you've been schooled out of it mm -hmm. to suppress that first Corinthians 3 16 says know ye not that you are the temple of God and the Spirit of God dwells in you who dwells in you the Spirit of God who's he the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost what know you not see you're the temple mm -hmm. what does a temple do what should a temple do is for the worship of the God that's in the temple you are the real you mm -hmm. is a Holy Ghost worshiper mm -hmm. you just don't know it mm -hmm. some of us know it I find it curious that just twice there he said it other times too what how do you not know this right. seemed like he was calling it basic information right. Spirit of God in you you walk around with him glorify him in your body mm -hmm glorify worship mm -hmm. I'm a Holy Ghost worshiper I've come to that realization that the real me worships the living God say the real me, the real me worships, worships the, living the living God who is the living God the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today yes. Luke 4 verse 8 I'm gonna read the second half of it Jesus answered and said thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve thou mm -hmm. that's the real you mm -hmm. thou the real you mm -hmm. shalt worship the Lord your God Amen. and shalt thou the real you serve the real you worships the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. if you're a temple of God I read you those other verses of Scripture you're the temple of God the Holy Ghost who should you worship the Lord your God the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. he said thou shalt worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve say him only, him only. The real you knows the Holy Ghost is God the real you thou shalt serve only mm -hmm. the real you knows this the religious you doesn't like me right now <laughs> well who do you serve if you're a temple who are you serving let's say I'm gonna go to work at the temple today I'm gonna go and serve in the temple who am I serving the God that's in the temple you are a temple of God who am I serving him well it said here it says only can we assume that what Jesus was saying was true yes. thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve if I were to do that we can assume that the fulfillment of everything that I'm called to do on this earth mm -hmm. is in that thou shalt worship and him only I'm worshiping him and only serving him then I will fulfill everything I'm called to fulfill does that make sense yep. meaning all the provision everything in it would be in there otherwise he wouldn't use the word only mm -hmm. he wouldn't have said the word only if it didn't include everything that I would need to be doing in this earth yes. a fulfillment of everything it must be in there worshiping the Lord and serving him only 
Otherwise, he wouldn't have said the word only. He said the word only. So all success in life, ministry, job, whatever it is, whatever it is, is in that. The many live and die without knowing the real you, without knowing the real them. They never come to this realization. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Now, what if, what if I did that? What if I said, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt use the words of Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. I've come to know that the Lord my God is the Holy Ghost. He's God in the earth today. What? How do you not know this? And serving him, right? What if I made that my thing? I'm going to worship God and him only serve. Would I be unscriptural? Yeah. I'd be very scriptural. Mm -hmm. What if I did that? What if I made that my thing, worshiping the Holy Ghost because he is the Lord my God in the earth and serving the Holy Ghost because he's the Lord my God in the earth, serving him only? I already showed you that everything's got to be in there or you wouldn't use the word only. Mm -hmm. The spirit man already knows that what I'm saying to you is true. Your spirit man knows that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And if you learn to serve him only, you will have everything that you could possibly need or want out of life. Because he's God. Mark 7 verse 13 says that they were making the word of God of no effect through their traditions mm -hmm. and many other things would they do. So you'd have something that God was trying to get across to them through his word, but then they would nullify it by something else. Yes. Say so they'd nullify it nullify. by something else. something else. And many of the things that I've been saying to you today have been nullified by something else. It's not the word of God. Mm -hmm. It's a tradition of man. This says it makes the word of God of no effect, meaning it makes it useless, it doesn't work. But the real you is effectual. The real you knows this message is right. I hear it all the time from people. They'll say things like, I've been a believer for 40 some years, filled with the Holy Ghost, and I've never heard this before. And they'll say, the first time I heard you say it, the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. I knew it was right. Went off on the inside of me. I know this is right. This is the thing I've been missing. Romans 8 16 says the spirit bears witness with your spirit the spirit man bears witness where are they getting this revelation it's coming to their inner man and it's superseding the the 40 years of traditional thinking the real you is a Holy Ghost worshiper say that the real me, the real me is a Holy Ghost, a Holy Ghost. Worshiper. worshiper I know him I know as him. God in the earth today I worship him I worship and him. I serve him. him. Welcome to the real you. Now, the real you is a Holy Ghost worshiper. A lot of people just don't know it yet, but the real them is. I don't care who they are. They're a believer. The real them is a Holy Ghost worshiper. They just don't know it yet. Yes. That's right. Use the words, I worship you, Holy Ghost. If you're a Holy Ghost worshiper, use the words I worship you Holy Ghost use of those words will take you behind the veil that veil of traditional thinking it'll bring you into a place it'll bring you into fully to be fully present in this dispensation fully present in the real you who you really are you'll be changed you'll be transformed into all the promises of God will begin to be fulfilled in your life as you begin to worship him because he is the promise mm -hmm. let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people have become Holy Ghost worshipers and they're living in a new day says the Spirit of the Lord and a new age and as you continue to walk with me I will guide you into all the truth and show you things to come and you will not be concerned about tomorrow you won't be taken by surprise because you'll be able to walk through it and know those things before you even get there thank you holy ghost you're quickening people 
right now in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tither and offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I worship you I thank you that I am made rich and have no sorrow added to me my tithe and offering is multiplied and I have abundance and no lack in Jesus name amen